Hello and a big warm welcome. For any of you that are new around here, my name is Claire. For you that are returning viewers, then big welcome. Always happy and so glad to have you here. So I have just had a little thought this morning because I've ordered a couple of nice meals for this week. And I thought I'm gonna compile a little, maybe five family favorites that you can have on Snow and World. Those really nice meals that you don't wanna go without, that you wanna sit down and eat with your family, not eat it separate. A lot of diets can mean that you're sat eating something separate that's not that appealing while your family tuck into big meals and you're left cooking two meals and only eating a green salad or something unexciting like that. So I wanna cook five family favorites that are great to sit down and enjoy with your family. Meals that all of them are gonna love and you're gonna love and enjoy and get that satisfaction that you should be getting out of your meals. So the meal we're starting with today is taco boats. Now these old El Paso taco boats are an absolute favorite of my boys. They love them. So I am cooking these today and I'm going to do a chili to go in them. So a Slimmer World chili, you can use the chili to cook with taco boats, with rice, whatever. It is just a basic recipe for a chili. This is how I've always made my chilies and it is sin free. So that is great. I am gonna do some nice salad to go with mine. I'm also gonna do some rice and I'm gonna top it with some cheese from my Hex A allowance. Now this, when it is done, is a really nice, wholesome meal that feels naughty, it's tasty, it's got lots of vegetables in, lots of speed food, and it's gonna be really low sin. So that's tonight's meal. The next meal I have coming up is gammon. I think that's gonna be with like egg and pineapple, maybe some chips and peas, that sort of thing. And then the other three, I'm gonna to have to have a little think on that because I only thought of it today and those are the only two I've got in. So let's get on with cooking that dinner and I'll catch up with you a bit later. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, if you are looking for Slim and Well Inspo and you enjoy my videos, then please do give them a little thumbs up. It is always really appreciated. Get in my comments and say hi. I'd love to hear how you're getting on. And very importantly, please do subscribe to my channel and then you will be notified as and when new vlogs upload. Now you may have seen a recent post I put on my page which said I am now going to aim to post a Slim and Well vlog every single Friday at 6pm for you. Now when I say I'm going to aim to, I mean I will try my hardest. I'm trying to get ahead with this and I'm trying to make sure I've got something ready every Friday for you. I thought I'd work better with a target in mind rather than just filming and uploading whenever. At least you know what's going to come from me and when. So fingers crossed that's going to work out. So set your timers, guys. 6 p.m. every Friday, Slim and Well Vlogs. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in a bit. So I am just frying off my onions and mushrooms. I would usually start by browning off the mince and then add the onions and mushrooms. However, I have two fussy children. So although I'm cooking one meal for all of us, I do separate my mince and I do one dish for them, which is just literally mince and passata. And then I'll do one for Mark and myself, which has the lovely mushrooms, onions, chili beans, and a little bit of extra spice, all those things that we like. So don't forget, you can add loads of extra veg if you want into your chili. I'm just putting mushrooms, onions, um, tinned tomatoes, cassata, garlic, and black beans, kidney beans. You can add courgettes, you can add peppers, whatever you fancy. You could also just do this. I do a veg chili with just courgettes, peppers, aubergines, mushrooms, onions, and you don't need to add any mince at all. Remember, the mince you are using to be free on Slim and World needs to be this less than 5% fat mince. Okay, if you're using a less than 12%, I think the other one is, or a full fat mince, you do need to look up the sin value of that particular brand of mint.
and welcome back. So we are ready for another one of our family favourite meals. It is Sunday today and we love nothing more, especially coming into autumn winter, than spending a Sunday having a roast dinner and watching a family movie. So today I am going to cook a roast chicken. I'm not going to show you my chicken prep because no one likes looking at raw chicken. So there's a whole roast chicken under here, an onion cut in half. It's been sprayed with fry light and I have just salt and peppered it and that is now going in the oven. The most important thing I'm gonna run you through in this Slim and Well family favorites is the sins in things like gravy and also I'm gonna make one sin Yorkshire puddings just to show you how you can still enjoy things like a Sunday roast with your family even when you are following and staying on plan with Slim and Well. Today may even include a glass of our favourite red. Again, you can do that and stay within your sins and limits and be on plan and slim and well. It's just about measuring and making a few little points. So I'm gonna get my chicken in the oven and I'll come back a bit later to run you through what we're having on our roast dinner. Okay, let's make these one sin Yorkshire puddings. Now I got this recipe online from a site called Fat Girl Skinny, so I will add the link in the comments. This is how I make them following her recipe, okay? She sifts everything and whisks. I just chuck it all in and mix it together. I did use my electric, it's not exactly an electric whisk, but whiskey thing, so it aerates the mixture and makes it nice and creamy. But literally, I just chuck everything in, whisk it up. I have sprayed and preheated my pan, and then I will pour in the mixture and pop them in the oven. I'm now doing my roast potatoes. My potatoes have been boiling. I'm just doing a few roasties. The kids don't eat them, so I'm just taking some out of the boiled potatoes that the boys will have and popping them onto my preheated baking tray, which will then go in the oven. I do always give them a little bit of a salt and pepper and a shake up. If I was doing all of those potatoes, I'd drain it, salt and pepper, and then shake the pan because it just roughs up the outside, which gives them a nice crispy coating as they roast in the oven. Now I'm gonna pop my Yorkshire pudding tin in. Key to these not sticking is having the oil really nice and hot. And look, those roasties are coming on a right treat. My chicken is also out. I'm just gonna cover that in tin foil and leave that to rest. Switch on my vegetables, which are in my veggie steamer. This is much easier than having loads of saucepans out. And here is my hot tin. So this was the perfect amount of mixture to pour out four Yorkshire puddings, but don't overfill them. This is actually a muffin tray, not a Yorkshire pudding tray. And that worked really, really well. So I'm using Quixo chicken gravy. This is one from Aldi and it is one and a half sins for 100 ml of gravy made up as directed. Now the directions are four heaped teaspoons in with half a pint of boiling water. It says those teaspoons should weigh about 20 grams. I'm actually making up 40 grams because I'm doing it for four people and I just made sure I had 100 ml of this on my dinner. Those Yorkshire puds are rising a treat and obviously I added twice the amount of water to this as well. So I used eight teaspoons to make up one pint of gravy. I've got this Tesco mash, which is refusing to scan on my app, but I've typed it in and I believe it is three sins for the entire packet. Mark and I'll have half each and marrow fat peas, love those. They are free food. This is my roast potatoes. They've come out lovely and crispy. And now to take the Yorkshires out. I mean, look at these, these are awesome. They have risen perfectly. In an ideal world, I'd have them in a little bit less time. I think they're a little bit crispy. I do like them softer, but look how they come out of the tin. Perfect. So here it is, a family Sunday roast done slim and world style. You're really not missing out on anything here. You can have everything you want on your roast. Just check the sins and check your measurements and plate it up accordingly. So happy Sunday. Here is to another family favorite and a little glass of red to top it off. Welcome back to another of my Slim and Well family favourites and tonight we are cooking chicken curry. The sauce I love to use for my curry is this Mayflower curry sauce. You can usually pick this up in Home Bargains, b and It's like, used to be 99p but I think it's more than that now. Um, but it's really, really nice and it is four sins for 100ml of the sauce as made up by the directions. So the directions is 85 grams of the powder into 340 millilitres of water. That is the packet directions. So I'm gonna get on and cook the chicken curry. This is the only thing that is sinned in my chicken curry and it makes a really nice 
I quite like having this as a weekend treat because this tastes exactly like a Chinese chicken curry from a Chinese takeaway. So everything else in it is free and speed food, but I'll run through that as we go through it. So let's get on and cook one of our family favorites, which is Chinese chicken curry. I'm going to start by making my chips. As per usual, I just chop them up into chip shapes. I sometimes parboil, I sometimes don't. Tonight, I'm not. They're just going in the air fryer, so I'll put them in there for about 30 minutes. Just spray them with fry light, salt, pepper, give them a little shake about, and that's it. So then I am fry light in my pan and preparing my veg. I'm just going to put onions. We like my onions really chunky in the curry, and I'm going to chop up some mushrooms. So then I'm going to fry off the mushrooms and the onions. I do this in stages because it's just easier. So once they are browned off, I'm going to pop them in a colander on the side. And then I'll pop my chicken in to brown that off also. I'm going to be making up my measuring out for my curry sauce. So I have weighed out 85 grams of that. My chicken's now browned off, so I will take that out and put that in the colander with the mushrooms. I'm going to put the water into my pan and then add in the curry powder, which is weighed and measured. And then I'm going to keep whisking that. So it's cold water that I put in and I'm just going to keep whisking and whisking and whisking. And then it turns into a lovely, thick, creamy curry sauce. When I tell you this is exactly like a good Chinese takeaway chicken curry, that is exactly what it is. I mean, you never need a takeaway again, literally. So when that sauce is all done, I'm going to pop in my chicken, mushrooms and onions, give them a little stir. I also always like to add some peas. So I'm going to pop them in and then I'm going to cover it up and leave that to simmer. I am then going to pop my rice in. We're having rice and chips, as you always do with a Chinese takeaway. Well, we do anyway, and they are sin-free, so why not? The boys just have rice. Mark and I have rice and chips. There are never any complaints on a chicken curry night. It is a definite family favourite. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Once you've tried this, honestly, there is no going back. Best chicken curry ever. Hi and welcome back to my five family favourite Slim and World style. So this evening we are cooking lasagna. Now <laughs> I found this recipe um, of someone who had shown me, ha I found this recipe that someone had shared on Instagram and every time I cook it something goes wrong. I burn the top or I do something. So anyway we're going to give it another go tonight and the secret to this is I'm going to make my bolognese the same as I make my bolognese and chilies all of the time and that tends to be using passata as the base and just some stock and whatever else you want to put in to make a bolognese mix and the cheese sauce for the lasagna is using this seriously spreadable lighter now 55 grams of this is one of your hexes there's 125 grams in this pot so it does take you a little bit over so Obviously, you're just gonna to have to work it out depending on your portion size, but 55 grams of this, I'm gonna use two pots and it is being divided by four people for a hex A. You're also gonna be using your second hex A in this dish because we are gonna um, grate some cheddar to go on top. So 40 grams of lighter cheddar, that is the other hex A. So two hex A's for this or sin it, the choice is yours. So let's go on, let's get on and cook a big, huge, yummy, family favorite lasagna you can't go wrong with lasagna can you everyone if i'm cooking with mince my kids like it be it burgers bolognese chili taco boats lasagna meatballs burgers mince goes down a treat with the kids or it does with mine so let's do it right let's cook this lasagna as usual we're going to start by fry lighting our pan and then i'm just going to fry off some onions i've cut these fine because it's the only way the kids would eat them if i was making this just for myself and mark there would also be mushrooms and maybe some other veggies going in there but as is for all of us i'm just doing onions so you're just going to pop your mince in and brown that off with the onions and then i'm going to crumble an oxo cube into the mix again mixing that in here is where i would usually also add a tin of chopped tomatoes but like i've said as it's a family lasagna, the kids don't like all those bits and pieces, so I'm not adding them. I found a JD seasoning, I can never say that, Amatriciana mix. So any Italian spice mix, basil, whatever you want to pop in, garlic powder, salt, pepper. Pop in my passata in and give them that a mix and I'm going to leave that to simmer while I get on with making the cheese sauce. So I'm using two pots of the seriously strong cheddar. And all I'm going to do is add a tiny bit of boiling water, which is to loosen up the mix. I'm doing it slightly different this time. When I've done it before, I've just used this as the topping. But I'm going to add a little more water to make it more of a saucy consistency. And I'm actually going to add it in layers as you would the white sauce in a lasagna. Thank you. 
So I'm now going to layer up the lasagna. I've just got plain normal lasagna sheets, which are sin free, and I'm going to layer it up, mince, lasagna sheets, sauce, and continue that until we get to the top layer. smooth on that top layer and then I am going to put a lid onto this when I put it in previously without a lid to cook I did burn that cheese sauce on the top so I'm putting a lid on and that definitely worked better I've prepared some potatoes to go with this I've just sliced them similar to chips but a different shape and I'm adding salt pepper fry light and some chips and wedges I was going to put them in my air fryer then I thought silly me the oven's on so I popped them in the oven instead on a bacon tray I had this salad left over in the fridge it's from Marks and Spencer's and oh no I can't remember it's nine or nine and a half sins for the whole thing so four or four and a half sins per person it needed using up so we're going to have this to accompany our lasagna usually I'd just chop up a fresh salad which of course would be speed and free food um here it is so i am now going to add my cheddar on top obviously it is 40 grams of this cheddar per person for a hex a on slim and world so however much you put on you just need to work that out when you portion your your lasagna up um it did end up being in the oven for a little longer than i anticipated and as always as i said this always goes wrong for me it wasn't quite as saucy as i'd like but the kids and mark said it was amazing and they all loved it and that is the main thing so it went down a treat maybe next time i'll get that lasagna spot on but this time was pretty good and it's a very enjoyable family feast okay so i'm not gonna lie i ran out of time on this last meal so it's a bit of a rush job we're literally having sausage mash and veg and if that doesn't work for a family feast i don't know what does and this one is super convenient because i've got microwave bag of veg my sausages are just going in the air fryer half a sin each and that mashed potato like i said before shared between mark and i is four sins i think for the whole thing and yeah one sin for a tablespoon of bisto best onion gravy I hope you have enjoyed all of the family feasts that we've created here. I'm sorry the last one wasn't much of a feast, but it does show you how you can still pick up really convenient food, stay on plan and feed the whole family whilst following Slim and World. Hope you've enjoyed. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future vlogs as they're uploaded and I'll catch you in the next one.